New at 11, Kennesaw police have issued an arrest warrant for an Uber driver accused of firing a gun in a road rage fit with another driver. This happened in a Cobb County neighborhood. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn is live in Kennesaw tonight. And Patrick, how did this escalate so quickly and what's Uber doing about it? All right, well, I'll get to Uber's response shortly for the rideshare co company is certainly aware that this happened. Now, I'm told that this really all started from a rolled stop sign, and even that is unclear if it actually happened. After that, tempers flared and gunfire followed. He followed me and he shot at me. So you heard the gun? Yes, it was really loud. Really, really loud. For this driver who didn't want to use his name for fear of retaliation, he said it all started like this. He was driving up Ridgecrest Drive in Kennesaw when an Uber driver, who police have identified as Kenneth Antonio Nichols, in this silver Jeep Compass, caught on neighbor surveillance footage, rolled through this stop sign while dropping off a rider. That Uber rider was Lisa Bannerman. I don't know that I'll Uber again. Lisa, who didn't want to show her face, told me Nichols was not to blame and watched as the two drivers got into it right outside her home. The person was up here kind of harassing us in a way and the Uber driver just wanted to make sure that I was safe inside. But the second driver says Nichols threatened him after Lisa left. He opened the, the, the car and he's like, I have something for you. That's when the driver told me he drove off. He said Nichols followed him and fired at him a couple blocks later. It's scary because you don't you can't see the bullet. You just hear that shot and, and it's a millisecond and it hits somewhere. Police said they found a shell casing and have issued an arrest warrant for Nichols, who detectives called up that day. When he was speaking with the detective on the phone, he said that he did fire the round into the ground so that the victim, so the other driver knew that he had a gun. And that second driver who you heard from earlier, he told me he wants Uber to do more in preventing drivers from having firearms. Now, Uber told me that they have suspended the driver's ability to access the app during this investigation and stressed that no driver should ever have a fire on them, a firearm on them while driving for the company. Now, if you talk with police, they say the underlying message from this is don't give in to road rage, keep a cool head and just keep driving. Live in Kennesaw tonight, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.